Okay, now we're going to be looking for the third term of this expansion. And I will be using the formula. The term of number k plus 1 will be nck times the first term to the power of n minus k times y to the power of k. Great. So since we want the third term, k plus 1 is 3, which means that k is 2. And remember that nck is just n factorial all over k factorial times n minus k factorial. Great. So let's start plugging things in. The third term will be equivalent to 5c2 because that's n and k is 2 times x squared, which is our first term, right? Our x in this case, which is represents the first term as x squared, to the power of n minus k times the second term, which is 1, to the power of k. Fantastic. So we want to know 5c2, which is equal to 5 factorial, all over 2 factorial, times 5 minus 2, 3 factorial. Well, that's simplified too. 5 times 4 times 3 factorial, all over 2 times 3 factorial. This will simplify into 10. I went a bit fast through this because we have already done quite a few questions like this on the website under combinatorics. So we already know that 5c2 is 10. And here we have x squared to the power of 3. 1 squared is just 1, so I won't even write it. So x squared to the 3 or cubed would be just x to the 6 because we multiply the exponents. So final answer is 10x to the power of 6.